What's up, my friends? It's D3 with the recap to the free critique February, in which I didn't count the exact amount, but I think it was over 100, maybe even up to 150 songs that I was sent and listened to and critiqued. And often it was like a lengthy paragraph that I would uh, type you back saying, you know, something that I thought was great with the song, something maybe I would do differently, something I liked with the mix. But anyway, this video is to highlight some of the, the songs that I thought were pretty cool. And then also just talk about general themes of things that I think were kind of difficult for some of you as you were recording and mixing, just kind of common mistakes, I guess, that I noticed in some of the songs, like, you know, common feedback that I gave in that regard. And in no particular order, here are some songs that I want to highlight. If I don't show your song here, it's not because I didn't like it. I just don't want this video to be like forever long. So we're going to just highlight a couple of the songs. Okay, this song is not only cool, but it has a funny story. So the uh, individual that sent it to me is German, and in their English class, if they accidentally speak German, then they have some kind of consequence, uh, like baking a cake or whatever. So um, in lieu of that, they offered to write and record a song. I thought it was pretty funny, uh, but the song's actually pretty good. <laughs> Okay, this song by Griffin Kenna, this has to be, I hate to say it, maybe I don't hate to say it, but this has to be my favorite song that I was sent. And a lot of it is because, not only because it was a well-written song and mixed well and whatnot, this is just like a style of music that I also really like. So I just, I loved the song. You tell yourself that just for show. Fact is the truth here set in stone. And that chorus, let's see. Skip too close and you get burned, that's what I heard. It's all the same, cause we're all kicking feet, starving for history. It reminded me a lot of Phoenix or Two Door Cinema Club, and his I thought his voice just fit the genre really well. It's just really well done song. All right, it's a song called Superman by Black Gold. And something I like about the song and you may notice a trend is I like songs that the vocals are mixed well and they fit well. So this is kind of a heavy, like hard rock genre, but the vocals, I think they fit really well in. You could hear them clearly. They weren't overbearing and just a good mix here. Watch out, there's evil out there. Okay, here's another song I really liked. It's not a matter of time. It's not a matter of place. It's a matter of love that I don't chase. Don't know if I dare someday. Just simplistic, a little, you know, some noticeable reverb on the voice in a way that makes it just work really well. I thought it was really well mixed. I really liked it in such a pleasant song. This song by my friend Satvir Bantu is an instrumental song, and I've been listening to a lot of instrumental music lately in this same style, so it just it hit home to me. I really enjoyed this song. I thought he did a great job. All right, now getting into some common mistakes um, in no particular order. These are just multiple times I heard, for example, symbols being too harsh. What do I mean by harsh? I mean that they're too bright. They're, there's too many high frequencies in there. When you listen to it, it just, it just kind of hurts your ears a little bit. Another common thing that I heard was that the drums would sound super quiet and distant. Um, and a lot of that, I think, honestly, was because you're using one microphone, which is fine, but you kept it too far away from the drum set. And especially in genres where it felt like the drums wanted to feel more present, but they were just, they just felt distant. Here's a, a video actually I made a while ago that compares different drum mic placements if you're using just one microphone. This is what it sounds like when it's close. So just, it makes it sound more full. So if you're using one microphone for drums, 
I would suggest putting it a little bit closer. That would be my personal opinion on that. A really common mistake that I heard was that the vocals were, you notice I'm on a vocal theme and a lot of it just has to do with vocals, I think. Um, but the vocals were clipping. They were recorded too high. The volume was too high, like the gain knob was up too high or, or something like that on your microphone or on your audio interface. And so the vocals were being distorted. Very noticeable, very unpleasant to listen to. It's like the difference between this. Whoa! And whoa! Yeah, one of them is pleasant to hear and one of them is not. Lastly, another common mistake I heard was that a lot of people didn't seem to take the time to pan any of the instruments in the left or right headphones or speakers. And so the songs, even if they were a cool song, they sounded a little bit bland. Everything was just coming down the center channel. You could hear every instrument equally in the left and right. So it all just sounded like it was down the center, which makes it really cluttered. You can't hear the vocals as clearly because there's guitars and drums and everything all down the center. So moving forward, am I going to continue listening to all of your songs that you send me? Answer is I, I just can't. It's, it's so time consuming. It was very well worth it. I really enjoyed doing it and I set myself up for it, right? Like I'm, I made a, a name free critique February. It's still a really stupid name, by the way. So I was expecting to have a lot of songs come in and I was totally prepared for it. And that's awesome. Moving forward though, it's going to be difficult for me to, you know, spend several hours a week listening to all your music. So what am I going to do? Well, I finally started a Patreon. It's going to be pretty darn straightforward and simple. The o there's only one tier and you can donate as much money as you want. It's, I think it has to be a minimum of $1, but if you donate, then you become part of the community and you can post on the Patreon community on my C3, um, Patreon page. And that is the place where you can post links to your music. You can post questions that you have about recording or mixing. You can post questions about what's your favorite video game. I, we may even try to like meet up and play some video games. If we have, I have a Nintendo switch and a Wii U and a PC. So maybe we can like try to meet up and play some games sometime or something. So moving forward, if you're wondering how can I have C3 critique my songs, that will be the official way to go about it. But honestly, this was a lot of fun. Thank you to everyone that sent me your music. It was fun to finally hear your music instead of just, you know, assuming that you guys are out there making music. I got to hear firsthand all of your awesome music. And that's it. Holy crap, this has gone on for 45 minutes. I hope that when you're watching this, it's like seven minutes long, not 45. Bye.